We are not going to go through all of these, but I'll let you choose two to three of them. That way you have those accurate ones. So on your hand or hand, show me which ones you would like to see go over the most. So I definitely see a lot of threes. And I see twos, a lot of twos. And I see more ones than fives. So we'll do those. One, two, and two. Okay, the three types of correlation are positive, negative, and no correlation. Positive correlation, negative correlation, no correlation. That is, so whatever the current vocab words are, most of them are either small little ones on the board or they're bigger colorful ones. When we're no longer using those, they're always up in that corner. So you'd always refer back to those. Um, Ellie, can you do me a favor and minimize the timer? It looks like this. It's not a regular minimizer. Okay, the four steps of the data cycle are formulate questions, collect and uh, represent data, uh, collect or acquire data, sorry, organize and represent data, and then analyze the, analyze the data and communicate the results. So I'm not writing all of that. analyze the data and communicate the results, but I don't have space to write all of that. For number three, find the rate of change between the points. You are finding the slope using your slope formula. M equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm going to label those. So we have negative 5 minus 6 over 6 minus negative 5. And then subtract negative 5 minus 6 and negative 11. 6 minus a negative 5 would become 6 plus 5. So we have negative 11 over positive 11, which is negative 1. So our rate of change or our slope is negative one. Questions on that one? So make sure you have all three of those written down. Keep this answer sheet and then look at your course calendar. So take note of all of the important dates. Um, I meant to put which delta mass are informative and which ones are formative, but I didn't for whatever reason. So I'm going to tell you which ones are those. So 3.1a is your multi-step equations. That one is formative. 3.4 is the real world problems. That one is also formative. Those are both due next week. 
3.1b is listed twice, but that's just because we're going to be doing it for two days. Uh, Multi-set with variables on both sides. That one is informative. 3.2, the absolute value equations, is formative. And 3.3, the literal equations, is informative. Now remember, informative does mean it doesn't affect your grade, but that does not mean we should not be doing it because it will be on the test. It is good practice for the quiz and test. You said 3.2 is formative? 3.2 is formative, yes. In this unit, we're going to be dealing with some no calculator and calculator sections on the quiz and test as well, and I'll let you know which ones are those. Um, all the stuff I talked about at the beginning of class, slash what I just said, if you're feeling like you're overwhelmed, this is too much, have a conversation with your counselor. Okay, um, we don't have much time, but we're going to very, very briefly start this. And then we're going to continue it next class. So this entire unit is on solving different formats of solving. So everyone that has a laptop open, please shut it. What is a solution? What would you tell me? An answer, okay. Right. So if we are looking for an answer, we're going to determine if the following values are solutions or not. So let's say I had some equation and I solved it and I got this answer. And I want to double check, how do I know this is the actual answer? How could I do that? What did you say? Without the use of decimals. Because you could do that. But we're not doing that. Yes. Michelle? Yes. We're going to take that number and put it in for x. So all the testing that we were doing before, as a good practice, was good practice for this. We're going to replace x with 5, use parentheses, and then see does this give us a true statement or not. So 13 times 5 is? Multiply. Use your calculator. 65 minus 7. And then if I were to subtract this, do we get 58? Yes. So this is a true statement. This is the solution. Now, just for giggles, for number two, we just solved, we simple, um, we double check that five is the solution. So negative five should not be the solution, but we're still going to check it. Same process, except this is going to give us a negative 65. And when I subtract negative 65 and 7, I would get negative 72. And that does not equal 58, so this is not a solution. So this is a great way to double check yourself when we get into solving more complex things to see did you get the correct answer or not. Try number three and number four. Was three a solution? No. Does anyone need to see that? No. So that one was not a solution. What about number four? Yes. Does anyone need to see that one? Um, so we'll do one last thing and then be done for today. Go on to the next page. Is talking about 
talked about different properties of equality, meaning what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Now this we're not solving, it's already solved for us, but we are going to say what is happening at each step. Um, distributive property is not you do to both sides, but it makes it equal. So the first one is given to you, that's just your equation. We're looking at what changed, what happened from step one to step two. Go ahead. Just the 9. The x2. So they multiply that 2 to both the x and the negative 9 using the distributive property. Where you have some number outside of parentheses and you multiply it to whatever's inside. Multiply the numbers to whatever. And then from step 2 to step 3. Yes, okay. So that would be so that would be your addition property of equality. I'm just going to put P and D. Step three to step four. Yes. They divide it on both sides by two. Division property of equality. I'm just going to put divide. To get that final. So next class we are gonna keep going unless you want to keep going on your own. Um, the only delta maps that are due today are the ones from the previous unit, domain and range, and in context problems. Hold on to these notes in your chart by answer sheet. Put iPads and calculators up.